I'm going on with all my money, money, baby style. I just want to check in with y'all real quick. This video really ain't going to be about no specific topic. Just checking in on y'all. You know what I mean? Letting y'all know. Keep on doing what you're doing. Because it's working. You may not see it right now, but in the long run, you're going to appreciate it. You did do it for yourself. I had seen something earlier on the shade room about some restaurant in Texas. It was a guy, employee. He's wiping his body parts on the food. You know what I mean? Y'all just look out for these restaurants y'all go to. If y'all pretty much can't see the food getting cooked in front of you at these restaurants, you might as well just stop eating at them because it's like people in traffic or anything they doing. Some people are so childish and they lack emotional intelligence. So when they have bad days, they want to make everybody have bad days. So that can come in the form of cutting you off in traffic, you know, um, doing something to your food, even if you didn't argue, argue with them in line, you know what I mean? People just, we dealing with a bunch of uh, grown children. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I'm, I take pride in what I do now, you know, it took me more discipline it already took discipline to eat healthy, but it took more discipline to start preparing my food. And I, and I started falling in love with it because I'm putting my own love into the food. You know what I mean? Because not only if somebody was able to do that, get close to your food, rub their body parts on them, you know what I mean? They're also feeling some type of way when they're doing it. So they putting their energy inside your food and you putting it inside your body. And we wonder why we act the way we act when we eat what we eat, you know what I mean? Dealing with a lot of negative energy, a lot of demonic energy, so you'll get used to preparing your food, I'm telling you. You're gonna get used to doing all this stuff once you once you get the ball rolling. Like I said, it's gonna be a snowball effect. You're gonna start picking up more snow, more snow. You're gonna start picking up more habits. You're gonna start getting more creative in the kitchen, you know what I mean? I done made so many different salad dressings, so, so many different dips, you know? Just out my own recipes, just me thinking about what I like to eat and the combinations that I will put together of the foods I eat. You're gonna get more creative, you know? So I just say, man, just stay out of these restaurants if you can if you can help it. You know, I know some of us be tired, we just getting off work. I know people got kids. So I be trying to put my, I, well, I don't try. I put myself in other people's shoes so I can be more understanding than just being unrealistic like some of these people online and be like man you do this you do this you know what i'm saying we all have the ability to do it but some of us just have more free time than others and it's they're just facts you know what i mean so be thankful that you're doing it you know just just stay on the right path because a lot of stuff going on in these restaurants and this y'all need to go check out this snack i really don't eat packaged stuff but you know these toasted uh coconut chips fire only got three ingredients. Y'all know I don't really eat stuff that's in the package, but when it comes to stuff like this, it's only three ingredients like coconuts, cane sugar, and sea salt. I'm not really a fan of cane sugar, but you know, I, I try not to be too perfect. And I'm finna go juice me some grapefruit juice. But same kind of head in that live, you know what I mean? Fine, I'm telling y'all. But yeah, that's all I wanna say in this video, man. Y'all just make sure y'all Try to discipline yourself more to prepare stuff at home, like fresh salads. Uh, just have more uh, fruits in the refrigerator because, like I said, you need your body to be hydrated. And you don't need all these people really touching your food and doing stuff like that. Like the person who, uh, whatever restaurant it was in Texas, you know what I mean? I didn't want to just dive too deep into it, that particular case, because... In actuality, this shit going on in Memphis. It's going on in Georgia. It's going on in a lot of places. A lot of people really, like I said, lack maturity. And whenever they get mad at somebody, it could be their spouse, could be their children. They, you know what I mean? Could be acting up at school and they go take it out at work. You know what I mean? A lot of people take their frustrations out on the next person. People have to get their energy out. They don't know how to meditate and transmute their energy to uh from negative to positive so they're gonna keep their same negative energy and they're gonna give it to you you know what i mean we wasn't taught these things we wasn't taught to control our energy nobody knows how to control their energy or contain themselves to where they 
won't lash out on others or lash inward on themselves to make them highly depressed, to make them want to go do drugs more, to make them want to go drink more. You know what I mean? Whenever I felt depression back in the days, this is what I would do. I would go drink or I would do something to knock the edge off to make me feel not myself, or maybe not feel that emotion no more. You know what I mean? So I know a lot of people still doing, using my old methods, you know what I mean? And that's the wrong way to go about it. You know, if you're young, it don't matter. Young, old, older, you know what I mean? Or, you know what I'm saying? Just start handling situations different because don't let your body face the repercussions of what somebody did to you. You know what I mean? Don't let your body face the repercussions of what your what your mentally what your mental state is like you know what i mean if you feel like you're getting more depressed go get some watermelon you know what i mean hydrate your body you know go do some yoga go do some breathing exercise it will help but you just have to have the patience to sit there and do it i'm, I'm telling you man because i'm speaking for myself too because some days every day i don't do yoga you know what i mean you just have to have the patience and have the the sense to know that this is going to help. You know what I mean? It's going to take some time for your mind to start calming down when you're doing certain things or you're trying to put your mind in a meditative state. But as you get better with it, you're going to be able to reach that state real quick. You know what I mean? I'm I'm seeing it with my progress. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm doing it slowly but for surely. So just stay focused, man. And just keep everything. Just keep, keep the ball rolling. That's all I can say. That's all I want to say in this video, man. Y'all be blessed on walking in smoke.